connecting SSAS to Power BI. Because you've been so incredibly focused on the data side of things and importing data and modeling the data in your DSV and your dimensions and your cube, you need to now take a step back and keep in mind what this whole thing is all about. We're not publishing this data model for us, probably. We're publishing this data model for end users or future users to come along and connect to it. So you need to understand what their experience is going to be like when they're trying to connect to it using an analytics tool. So for this particular nugget, we're going to be launching the virtual lab and we're going to be connecting to SSAS using Power BI just so you can see what pre-model data really looks like from an end user's perspective. So let's get going got the virtual lab launched all the servers are up and running I'm gonna use client nug paste in the password and get signed in then we're gonna launch power bi which is sitting right on the desktop here let's give it a double click and it'll load right up so once power bi loads up it's gonna ask you to sign in and you know you can kind of try the trial for free if you want to do that we don't need to do that right over here on the left hand side we've got this get data button that's exactly what I want to click on so we click on get data and it's going to prompt us to ask us what kind of data source are we going to be connecting to. What I'm going to do here with the all button selected on the left hand side about midway down you see SQL Server Analysis databases. That's exactly what I want to do. We're going to click on this and right here at the bottom we're going to click connect. The server of course is SQL Nug 2 and do you remember what our database was called? This is why this part is important. We have to specify the database for a multi-dimensional database. We're going to say it was MD Sales. And if for any reason you need to specify a specific MDX query, you can do that. I'm going to leave this as connected live, but we do have the option to import all the data and host it locally and then refresh it periodically if we want to do that. That's fine. We'll say connect and OK. Then it asks us which cube do we want to pull in. We've only published the one cube, so if I click on it, you can see it tells you what it's going to be pulling in from it. It tells you what our dimension is, and then it gives you some measurements as well. We'll click OK. And just like that, on the right-hand side, you can see we have the dimensions as specified by this little table. And if I expand it, you can see we have our employee, our is salesperson, and their preferred name. And then we also have sales, which is really great. If we want to visualize this as an end user, I'll click on something like the stacked column bar chart here. We'll expand it to full size. We'll just check off the employee box, and then we'll just check off the profit box. And just like that, we have profit by employee visualized with already pre-bottled data. This is the experience your end users are going to have. Notice they didn't have to spend any time at all building relationships, building hierarchies, building DAX measures. All of this was done for them because we did it on the front end and published it to SSAS. This is the end goal.